Hey everybody, so we're up here in the Malibu Mountains uh, getting ready to shoot uh, Neowise Comet again. Uh, I have a tandem set up. Uh, I shot this last, uh, actually a couple days ago. And, uh, sorry, my mask keeps getting out of the way, but uh, the, the lens that I used was way too long. I mean, I got a great shot, did some stacking, did some tracking with my Lost Mandy mount here. But now I have a 135 and a 70 to 200, and we're gonna try to get some really good shots here. This is a bit of an apology to my pass gear that I thought was totally irrelevant and I packed it away and it turns out it's absolutely critical for this stuff. First is my polar scope. Uh, normally I do pole master or sharp cap or some combination of these things. Uh, the good news is I still kept my polar scope and you know what I need to do is basically a super quick align right after sunset or as soon as I can. And it doesn't have to be exact, but with a little app on my phone that I can use, uh, to figure out where uh, Polaris is, I can get it knocked off. And there's just no way for me to do that with Pole Master and some of the software. I don't even have a computer to do all that. So thank God for my Polar Scope. Uh, second thing is my trusty SkyFi applications, or actually my, sorry, my SkyFi box allows me to wirelessly connect Sky Safari on my phone with my telescope. And last time we were here, it turned out that no one knew, really knew where it was. I mean, I was staring at my phone, kind of saying, I think it's over here, but everyone was guessing. And now, as soon as I pull her a line, what I can do is actually slew my telescope directly to that and not sweat it at all. The angle of view or the field of view is so big that uh, it's gonna be basically exactly where I need it to be. So, uh, we're gonna give it a shot. It's about uh, 7.30 right now. It doesn't really happen until about nine o'clock. Uh, and we're looking forward. I'm gonna give this, uh, this tandem mount a shot. Okay, so let's see how it goes. <laughs> 